In this video, we will get to know the so-called three-electrode setup, which is part of many electrochemical techniques used to study corrosion. Corrosion is a process that involves different electrochemical reactions. This potential current plot shows the example of ion dissolution as the anodic reaction and oxygen reduction as the cathodic reaction. The reaction equations show that the flow of electrical charge is involved in electrochemical reactions. Thus, the corrosion behavior of metallic materials is often studied with electrochemical techniques. This means that the corrosion process is studied by means of applying and measuring currents and potentials. When a metal is immersed in an electrolyte, Two layers of opposite charges form at the interface, establishing an electrochemical double layer. Consequently, there is a potential difference between the metal and the bulk electrolyte. When using electrochemical techniques, the studied metal is referred to as the working electrode. To obtain information on the potential of the working electrode, a second electrode is needed. Ideally, a so-called reference electrode is used. If immersed in the same electrolyte, the difference of potential between the working electrode and the reference electrode can be measured by connecting a voltmeter to the two electrodes. A reference electrode is an electrode with a well-defined potential. Reference electrodes can be made of different systems with different degrees of complexity comprising one or several reactions ultimately defining the reference potential. The table at the bottom of the slide represents examples of commonly used reference electrodes. On the right side, the corresponding reference potentials are shown with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode, SHE. On the right side of the schematic illustration, the reference electrode is simplified and represented as one potential step from its metallic part to the electrolyte. The measurable difference between this reference electrode potential and the working electrode potential is illustrated by the arrow in this sketch. Note that to simplify matters, any potential differences arising within the metal part of the electrical circuit are here not displayed. A system made of a working electrode and a reference electrode is often referred as a two-electrode setup or a two-electrode electrochemical cell. Thanks to this setup, one can measure open circuit potentials. The open circuit potential is the potential without polarization. In corrosion studies, these potentials are also termed corrosion potentials, ECOR. To gain information on the reaction or corrosion kinetics of a system, the working electrode needs to be polarized from its open circuit potential so that the potential current curve can be measured. To polarize the working electrode, an electrical current needs to be applied. For this purpose, a third electrode is generally added to the setup. This third electrode is termed counter-electrode sometimes also auxiliary electrode. Such a system is often referred as a three-electrode setup or three-electrode electrochemical cell. We can think of a counter-electrode as a source or a sink of electrons for the reactions occurring at the working electrode surface. To achieve this, the counter-electrode must allow for electrochemical reactions to occur on its surface. Examples for such reactions are the hydrogen evolution or oxygen evolution reaction. Ideally, a counter-electrode is a non-corroding metal. Typical materials used as counter-electrodes are thus noble metals, such as platinum. Also graphite or mixed metal oxides on titanium are used. It's recommended to ensure that the surface of the counter-electrode is larger than the working electrode, to avoid that a possible kinetic hindrance of the reaction at the counter-electrode limits the system. 
To achieve a large surface area, counter-electrodes are sometimes in the form of a mesh. To avoid that the electrochemical reactions occurring at the counter-electrode immediately change the electrolyte in vicinity of the working electrode, the counter-electrode is ideally placed at a relatively large distance from the working electrode. Note that the reference electrode should be placed in close vicinity to the working electrode. This allows minimizing possible measurement errors such as effects related to the ohmic drop. In this video we've seen that the use of a reference electrode in a two-electrode setup allows measuring unpolarized potentials of corroding systems. These potentials are called open circuit potentials or corrosion potentials. To obtain quantitative kinetic information about a corroding system, the working electrode needs to be polarized. For this purpose, a counter-electrode is added. This yields the so-called three-electrode setup that consists of a working electrode, a reference electrode, and a counter-electrode. Ideally, the counter-electrode is placed at a comparatively large distance from the working electrode, while the reference electrode is close to the working electrode.